सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ डायनेमिक एंड वीएफएक्स एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट गाइस सी दैट्स माय रियली कूल सीजीआई एंड वीएफएक्स एनिमेशन एंड गाइस नाउ आई यूज मोशन ट्रैकिंग फॉर आफ्टर इफेक्ट ओके सो गाइस इट्स रियली सिंपल ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइस नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ कंपोजिशन सो गाइस आई क्रिएट न्यू कॉम सो गाइस सेलेक्ट ऑन प्रेस डिलीट की and guys go to on after effect here that's my simple motion tracking right okay so guys now stop and again file and i create new project so guys click on here and new composition here and from footage check guys import your same clip guys you can download this clip link in description so guys go to on here track and track camera check and go to on advance and i use detail analysis check okay so guys my motion tracking is finished and now guys next one select only three points like this and guys right click guys set ground and plane origin check and one more time right click create solid and camera check so guys go to on preview and play yeah that's my simple tracking right and guys now import your tracking data in blender so guys stop so go to on back so firstly guys go to on here that's my camera and position and orientation copy so go to on here blender and guys i use blend a to blend add on so guys camera check yeah and guys now starting from 1 second so guys press 0 and go to back yeah that's it guys see that's my camera and guys now focal and copy so double click on this camera focal and copy so go to on here select your camera and focal and paste and lastly guys import your solid tracker this one plane and select only top four position copy and paste check yes and guys play yeah that's my tracking data so guys import your same clip so guys go to on camera and background image check and go to on movie clip so guys select your clip and go to on guys opacity 100% check and play yes see guys that's my tracking data right okay so guys all is good and now guys i increase this plane size so guys select this one and increase plane size like this and rotate so guys rotate it like this yeah go to on here and guys select your plane this one and guys rotate like a 145 okay so guys i increase scale size scale size like this and guys move y axis yeah right see guys that's my simple plane so guys next one go to on here global to local check and guys little bit more change so guys go to back and increase scale size yes okay so guys now this time i apply some 3d object guys go to on file append guys i already download some 3d assets so go to on here select this one and object and append check so guys now select this one box and increase size more yeah and guys use this one okay so guys press 7 actually 0 so guys i change position like this and guys y axis up yes and guys play yeah that's my simple 3d model right okay so guys see you can apply any 3d models depending on your work so guys that's my simple juice box right and guys you can apply this time this one go to on add and use monkey i like monkey model and guys rotate rotate like this right and guys more like a 90 and guys go to on here like a 240 yes okay so guys go to on back and Guys, this time I create rotation animation. 
so guys select this one rotation i create rotation like this so guys like a zero and animation check and guys now i increase frame so guys frame so guys select your camera guys my last frame is this one so guys i like a to 570 570 frame is good for me and guys select your this one and go to on last so guys like a 1080 and check yes so guys go to back and play okay so guys now select and press t and line a check so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my simple dynamic see guys that's my simple rotation animation right okay so guys now this time i apply subdivision surface so guys go to on here and use subdivision surface and apply check and right click shade smoother yes and guys go to back and play yeah see guys, that's my first step and now guys this time i apply some 3d assets so guys go to on file and go to on back so guys guys you can apply different style of objects depending on your work so guys select and collection and check yes see guys that's my different style of objects like this so guys i increase object size scale size increase yeah and global to local change yes so guys go to an up and guys little bit change scale size so press one so go to on here yes that's it guys see okay so now guys this time i apply some rigid body tag and collision tag so guys select this one object so go to on here rigid body and that's my passive and animation check so guys i change mesh so guys friction i like 0.1 and bounce 0.1 yes so guys see that's my lego game breaks so guys select first one and rigid body check so guys that's my shape so use cube so friction 0.1 and bound 0.1 yes so now guys select your first break and i apply same so guys go to on rigid body and copy from active check okay so guys that's it my that's my rigid body animation and guys now you can apply more different different style of object so like a spare uv spare uv spare check and press 7 so guys i apply uv spare on here this one yes see guys that's my spare and right click shade smoother so guys select and shade smoother check okay so guys select this one and guys i apply same rigid body tag so select and guys active so guys that's my shape so use spherical and friction 0.1 bound 0.1 so guys apply more shape like this so guys simple control c and v yeah and guys select your spare so duplicate so press control c and v go to on here yes see guys that my objects and guys press one so guys select your spare so up like this yeah and guys select your kit select hierarchy and guys i use center pivot so origin to geometry check yes okay so now guys this time i apply force fill tag so guys go to on here select collection this one and force fill so check so guys i increase size so force size increase like this and guys go to on here so press control a and skill set change yes and guys now i create animation so guys select this force and strength i like zero and check go to on like a 50 second actually 50 frame and strength minus 100 and animation check yes so now guys this time play okay so guys i change gravity so guys go to on here screen and go to on gravity so guys gravity are like zero and go to on rigid body world and guys catch it so guys catch a five seven zero and play yeah see guys that's my dynamic effect 
So guys, also I apply this time turbulence. Yes, good. Okay, so guys, stop and guys use turbulence. So add and use turbulence check. Guys, turbulence strength I like fifty. Fifty and also guys select this one plane. That's my flow. So rigid body and use passive. So guys, friction I like zero point two. Yes. And again, go to one back and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my trouble effect. Right, it's good. And guys, now, this time I apply more objects. So, stop. So, guys, now, select your collection. And right click, select hierarchy, select object check. And guys, duplicate. So, press control C. And second one, guys, you can take shift D. Enter. Yeah, see guys, that's my objects and guys go to on here and press 7 guys i apply top view top view check like this and guys i apply more objects so guys you can shift d and enter apply on here yes right and guys press 1 so guys press 1 so guys select on and up like this yeah, right. See, guys, that's my different, different position. And guys, now I apply this time this objects on my right side. So press 7, select this one and shift D, enter and apply to on this one. Right side. Yeah. And press 0. Okay. So guys, out of camera like this. And guys, rotate your object. Rotate randomly like this. Yeah, right. See, guys, that's my objects. And guys, now, lastly, I apply one more object. So, guys, shift D, enter. So, press 7. So, go to on here like this. Yes. And guys, rotate your objects. Rotate like this. Yes. And guys, play. So, go to back and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my dynamic effect. Yeah, much better. Right? It's looking really beautiful. Okay, so guys, my work is looking really good. See guys, that's my dynamic effect. And stop. So, guys, go to on back and click on here. And guys, now, I apply this time lighting. And also, guys, go to on here. Catch it. And bake all dynamic check. See guys, that's my baking. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. And one more time, play. And guys, after that, I apply this time lighting. Yes. Great. See guys, that's my beautiful dynamic effect. Right? It's looking really beautiful. And guys, now I apply lighting. So guys, click on here. So environment texture check. So select this one. And apply. So, guys, now, render setting. I use cycle render, divide GPU check. So, guys, I like SAM 256 is good for me. And fill and transparent check. Go to on color management. And I like standard. So, guys, frame rate. Guys, I use same frame rate. So, guys, to on after effect. And that's my 24 FPS. And use 24 FPS like this. So, now, guys, go to on here, render. And render image check. See guys, that's my first frame. So guys, close. And now, guys, select your, this one, flow. So go to one here. And visibility, shadow catcher, check. And now, guys, go to one compositing. So use node, check. So, guys, shift D. Actually, shift A. And guys, use viewer. So one more time, shift A, alpha over, check. And guys, now, lastly, shift A and use movie clip. And I apply same clip. So, guys, select same clip and apply like this. And guys, go to an alpha over connect to viewer. Yes, great. Okay, so now, guys, one more time, layout and use render image. Yes. See, guys, it's looking really realistic and beautiful shadow. So, guys, close. And guys, I change some shadow position. So go to on here, press 0. 
and click on here see guys the ads my shadow position change so go to on world and guys see the ads my hdr dynamic and press ctrl t and guys mapping change so guys see that's my rotation change like this and guys little bit more yeah see guys that's my same shadow as of my video clip okay so guys all is good guys my shadow is beautiful and also guys i take this time sunlight so light and use sunlight and go to on here so guys press 7 okay so go to on camera and guys position change and rotation change so go to an off rotation little bit change yeah yes see guys that's my shadow position right okay so guys all is good and now guys go to on here and guys see that's my output so guys i create simple jpeg render sequences and take any file name accept check and guys go to on here okay so guys my work is finished and one more time play yes okay so now guys this time go to on render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you Ding.